Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the the Dave's Shifters free macro set and within that the 3M shifters, which are all variants of the same sort of thing, um, but they go from a simplified one with very few controls, uh, but with intelligence in it that will make life a little bit easier, to a kind of fully manual one with lots of things that you can change. So we're going to start off we will take a rectangle here and just draw out one just to show some of the principles of the 3M that we're going to actually going to be using with the tool. And you can set any colour, the combination of red, green and blue in any three levels. The idea of 3M is that there's one is the maximum, one is the minimum and one is the one in the middle. And there are several things about this which we're going to be able to change. First thing to note is that when you move it up, it gets cut brighter. And this is because each of these three slides is like a controls for light. It's like you had a red, green and blue light. You're putting more energy into them if you're turning them up. Consequently, also, if you turn them down, then you're going to make it darker. The other thing to note is the distance between the minimum and the maximum. And... If that's increased, then it becomes more colourful or more saturated. And if it gets smaller, then it becomes more grey or desaturated. So the third point is that the this the middle one is if you keep the, the ratio the same effectively, then you can say variants of the same colour. And this is the first thing we're going to meet because if I just put this back over there and delete that. So if I go to the 3M Smart and Simple Shift, it comes as a single layer, which is very easy then to drag around the place and mask and so on. On the controls here, you've got the maximum and minimum. You haven't got the middle because the middle is automatically managed to control so that you get the same colour. That's what it's trying to do for you. So, first of all, let's try this. If I increase the maximum here, then it's going to get brighter. And also, because you're effectively moving the maximum away from the minimum, the minimum stays where it is, then it's also going to get more colourful. In fact, you can move this all the way up, and it goes up to the maximum of 100%, then you've got a very colourful image. If you bring it down, then it, the, the maximum is getting closer to the minimum. So at the bottom, this is the minimum. So it goes from minimum to 100%. So when they're all the same, then you've got grey. Likewise, with the minimum, if you turn it up, it gets brighter. But it's getting closer to the maximum now, so it's getting more desaturated. And as you bring it down, it's getting darker, but you're increasing the distance between the minimum and the maximum, so it's becoming more colourful. When you're doing this, what starts to happen is you get some effects. So if I look and zoom into this wall here, look at the way this has broken up. But if you go back to the original colour, it was white, so it's close to monochrome. So effectively what happens, the colours were close together, but as you drag apart the sliders, it literally tears it apart. And what was a little bit suddenly becomes a lot, which is what the colours are happening. So you need to protect that. So if I bring that down again, so I've got that there, and this is what the mono protect does. If I bring that up here, you can see that just restores what it was at before. Because effectively, to the left of this slider here is monochrome that is being held as it is. And anything else to the right is the more colourful parts. If it's still a bit pixely on this. You can turn up the feathering and it will soften things out so that it is more realistic. So you've got that con control. So control zero back out again. So here we go. We've got ourselves a very colourful picture, but looking a bit, you know, quite reasonably natural. And we can always bring it down by adjusting these. So there's one uh, way you can do it. You can bring it up here. You can also, of course, also use blend modes on this. So there's a light picture. Then if you bring the both up here, it's going to get lighter again. 
but because I'm increasing the maximum it's going to get a bit more of a colour difference. You've got a pastel effect here. If I bring this down I'm going to make this darker. So I've got a sort of a dark effect there with it, you know, with a light because I push the minimum up. If I bring this down then you're going to get this kind of dark effect here. Again, because you've got I've got the mono protect up here, if you take it down, that's where it normally is. If I bring it up, then you can get this kind of like a day into night type scenario. But it's, there's a tremendous amount of control you've got with these. Okay, that's going to delete that. And just look at the smart shift one. This is the same, but it's just got extra controls here. So if I just drag this up here, you can see this. So I've got the same effect here that I can you know, vary this and get very different colouring effects. When I get the, that break up I can just bring up the mono protect to retur return it to the original colouring and put in some feathering so it looks reasonable. But I've also in here I've got the same usual mono protect things as it's the same as in other controls where I can change the feathering effects I can change how it's calculated, which will have a very significant effect on how this appears. And I can also invert it, so that if I turn that up, it has a very, very different effect on it. And you can then work the other way around. You can either play with the control to see how it works. Typically with this, you're going to have to play around with the opacity to you know, turn down the effect. But in other words, you've got a lot more control in the ways that you can use it. And finally, the full shift. Now you can control the middle one. It is not automatically moved to continue the colour that was in effect. But it means that you can get very strange things happening. So this needs a lot more playing with this. And you can also, if you bring this up, you've got the same mono protect controls underneath here. So here you can see you can change the colour here much more significantly with the use of that central one. And you can even change the colour even further here because it doesn't have the smart elements to it. It just lets you change it as you wish. Anyway, that's it. hope that was interesting. This is a very powerful, very useful feature. And thank you very much for watching.